Hi, I'm Tanner with TransWest Truck Trailer RV here in Frederick, Colorado. Today we're going over an inventory unit. This one's actually available, which isn't common these days. This is a 2022 Logan Coach Crossfire, three horse bumper pull. This model, the Crossfire model that Logan produces, is their entry model trailer, um, but it kind of has some upgrades that I think you guys will like that kind of set it apart from different entry model trailers kind of in this category of trailer. We'll start up here at the tack room. In your tack room, you see you do get a full out or a swing out saddle rack. This is a three-tiered swing out saddle rack. You'll have your saddle racks up top, and below each of those racks, you'll have a blanket bar situated there as well. I like that just because you're not throwing blankets over the top of saddles, especially when those blankets like to get pretty sweaty. You can kind of ruin some saddles that way. This does run on a gas piston, same as all their other Logan Coach models. So what that'll do is it'll kind of help you pull that saddle rack in when you start pushing it, and then when you get your big heavy saddles on there loaded up, that piston will kind of help you start pulling that rack back out as well. In your tack room, it's going to be pretty similar setup to you know the bullseye models, the riot models if you go that way. It's going to be pretty much the same setup. You just don't have that running board step running the whole length of this trailer. Over here on your other wall, you will have a spare tire. You will see it as a black painted steel wheel. It will match the rest of the tires and the wheels on this trailer. That way if you guys do have a blowout flat or something like that, this tire and wheel will match the rest of the trailer once you get that tire swapped. Over here on your partition wall, It'll match the bullseye setup. You will have your bridle hooks up high. It is fully carpeted behind those bridle hooks. We like doing that just because, you know, you have bridles hanging, you have sharp conchos, sharp bits, stuff like that. And if they're dragging back and forth while you're traveling on some bumpy roads, they tend to kind of scratch up some aluminum. So you have that carpet right there where the majority of your stuff's going to be hanging. And then below that, we do have that vortex coating mm -hmm. as well. The vortex coating, what it is, is they spray it on pretty much any exposed steel or any exposed wall they think something's going to rub on. So again, that partition wall is going to be vortex wall. All of your framing that's exposed on this trailer, it is a galvanized steel frame that is also vortex coated in that. So you guys should have no issue with deterioration on the frame of this trailer. <clears throat> on your tail side of this trailer, this is unique to the Crossfire model. You will have a plexiglass track up high on the tail side of this trailer. That is fully removable plexiglass. You pop out two little screws here on the back and that plexiglass will pull right out and you can run that as open air gaps. Below that, since it is a three horse, you do get three D tie out rings. And then of course it is a 610 wide trailer so you do have your fender flares over your wheels. Um, your 610 wide to your outside wall of this trailer, you'll be you know the standard 84 wide to the outside of your wheel wells. Those are your black painted uh, steel wheels there that I showed you that spare in the front that will match that spare. And something I want to point out is these tires are nitrogen filled. You can tell that by the green cap. Again, that's something that's going to come standard on all Logan coaches, even this Crossfire model. We like doing that, especially, you know, these trailers are made in Utah, so they deal with a lot of warm afternoons, cold mornings. We're in Colorado. We have some really cold mornings and warm afternoons. That way you're not having to constantly regulate your pressure in these tires. That nitrogen is really going to help balance that out for you. One of the main differences between this Crossfire and that Bullseye model as you'll notice, there is no running board that runs the whole length of this trailer. You go up to that bullseye model, you'll get a full length running board that'll run and kind of serve as a step up. Crossfire, crossfire model, you will not, but you still get a lot of those same features you will on the bullseye trailer. <clears throat> Here on the entry side of this trailer, your load side, you will have 50-50 rear doors. And again, you'll see that vortex coating on these rear doors where a horse is going to be pushing up against. And then the same thing, you'll have that vortex coating wrapping around the whole, pretty much five foot from the floor up of this trailer where a horse is going to be pawing, kicking, anything like that. That vortex is going to help protect this trailer. In the Crossfire model, you do get a wood floor. Again, that wood floor is vortex coated as well. I mean, a wood floor itself will last 10, 15 years, no problem if it's taken care of. By vortex coating this floor, it makes it really, really easy to maintain this trailer. The other thing I like about wood floors is maybe compared to aluminum, is that if you get a board that goes bad in here, you're just pulling one board and putting a new board down. If your aluminum floor starts going bad, you're replacing that whole floor in that trailer. In this Crossfire model, you do get the padded dividers. They're a little bit different than the bullseye dividers or those riot dividers you're used to seeing, but same concept. You're gonna get a full hip level divider that is padded and you're going to get that same slam latch system on this trailer. I really like loading slam latches. You pretty much just put some pressure on them. They're going to latch into place. And the really cool thing I like, them, like about them is the way they're situated with their latch right here. If you have a horse that leans, the harder your horse leans, the harder this latch is going to engage. So a lot of trailers, you get a horse leaning on it, that latch kind of bends and bows and maybe wants to break free. 
On these Logans, the harder they lean, the more that latch is going to engage and stay tighter for those horses. Again, here's another look at that latch. Something I want to point out is inside this latch mechanism, there is styrofoam inserted. The reason they do that is to kind of offer a quiet ride. So if that latch inside here is up against that styrofoam versus again being up against metal or something like that, it gives it the option to rattle. By it sealing up against that styrofoam, it's going to give your horses a really quiet ride. Following up the wall here, we do have your two-way roof fence situated in one of each of your three stalls. They're pretty easy to use. You, they're kind of, you push them one way or pull them the other. And the way they situate is you can either pull air into this trailer or pull air out. So I, the way I like to run with my horses, I'll open the first two up to pull air in, open the last one to pull air out. That way I get clean, consistent air flowing over the backs of my horses, keeping them nice and co cooled off in those hot summer months. Each one of these stalls will have a tie ring situated directly above the window. And then you will have your drops on these windows as well. They're a little bit different than the Logan drops. They're a rounded frame window versus squared. Cool thing I like about them is you can access those drops from the inside. So if you ever need to, you can drop these windows from the inside of the trailer. And then again, each one of these stalls in this trailer will come set up with D-rings ready to take hay bags, triangle corner hay bags for this trailer. So they're set up for hay bags. You can put them in here. You can buy them through us if you wanted them. And then to finish off in this stall area, it does have LED lighting in each of its three stalls situated on the tail side back here. The cool thing I like about it is it will run independently, so there is a switch underneath each one of these lights. So you can have one on, two on, three on, whatever you guys want to situate for your horses. You can do that by uh, hitting the alternate switches on those lights. Let's move around the head side here. Again, black painted wheels. I think it looks really flashy, especially with that black Crossfire logo down the side of this trailer. But this gives you a really good view of these big, uh, rounded framed windows. They're really easy to operate. They pretty much slam latch. And then again, you just pull out and they fold down. The thing I like about them is if you're running these windows up, they have a huge sliding type window in them. So you have that option to run them closed and then you do have that really, really big sliding type window in there that you don't really see on a lot of the square frame windows, which I think is really nice. These windows are super easy to manage. Um, they will hold themselves. They have a little rubber housing that grabs this lever right here. It'll hold them in place while you're traveling. And then again, I'll show you guys how those gel bars work from the outside. I showed you how they work from the inside. Pretty much you grab this little bar right here, you'll pull down, and that whole gel bar will drop. So it's, again, it's really handy if you are running those hay bags or end up getting them that you can drop that window and feed and check on your horses from the outside of the trailer versus having to offload them or open your back doors and check on them that way. So we come up to the nose of this trailer, we'll kind of finish off up here. Again, it's pretty similar, pretty much exactly the same as what you're gonna see on the bullseye models. You're gonna have that diamond plate running about three foot up the front of your nose. Again, that's gonna help protect against those rock chips, those road debris that are gonna be bouncing up, your tires are catching. It's really gonna help protect that versus you know, having this paint go all the way down, which chips really easily. And then down here, again, there's your three foot gooseneck tongue. It is fully vortex lined as well. So again, any road debris that are hitting this tongue, you're not gonna have to worry about it chipping away at the metal, anything like that. That vortex coating is really gonna help protect this hitch. And then of course up here, you have your two and five sixteenths ball, your seven pin uh, connector, your safety chains, and then your breakaway cable situated down here. It is just a manual jack. We can 100% go and put an, you know, an aftermarket electric or a hydraulic jack on this trailer if that's something you guys wanted to do. Again, this trailer just showed up. It is available. It's not spoken for yet. It's a 2022 Logan Coach Crossfire three horse bumper pull. The stock number for this trailer is 5N220908. If you wanted to give us a call if you were interested in this trailer, possibly interested in some other trailers similar, maybe some we have on order. But always keep in mind you're watching these videos, you're getting good ideas about as far as what you like, what you don't like. We can always custom build you guys a trailer and get one to you relatively quick. So if you're interested in this trailer, maybe building the trailer or some other trailers we have available, go ahead and give me a call. Again, my name's Tanner here at TransWest and Frederick. Phone number is 303-684-3409. Thanks for tuning in.